because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. It was a very emotional, very emotional win because Wet up. <laughs> we had to... People just miss what you've just done. You can always do it again and don't worry about that, mate. <laughs> Get me some water. Get me some water. Yeah, so um been very emotional. Uh, I'd just like to say thank you to my wife, Paul's wife, uh, Lindsay, Bev, Caroline, and what's your name? What's your wife's lady? I forgot. I forgot. Tina. Sorry, because without without these women, this ain't possible. Because they let us come out and do these things, and the wives never really get a shout out. So we've got to give them a shout out. No, I'm not creeping before you let's say that for us. Uh, but it's true. It's true, isn't it? Boxing wives don't really see. So we've got to give them a. So we have to give them a little bit of a shout out. So let's get back to tonight and what's happened tonight. She's just become WBO 147 champion of the world. So, you know, it's been a long, long struggle since 1997 opened the gym. And this, and this is my first world champion. Paul's first signing and his first world champion. So that's a good omen for us. Good omen for us, I should say. Uh, all in all, I'd just like to say, well done, Sandy Ryan. Bring the cakes. <laughs> I, thought you, I thought you said bring the cake. <laughs> I want that. Yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Mikey. Um, as a as a founder member with myself as One Nation, uh, what would you like to say? Listen, we just have to give give credit. To this man, yes, sir. 17 years we've been rolling. No, yeah. longer. longer. 17 years, right? Small halls. Uh, small halls in all over the place, working like a dog, getting ripped off everywhere. Now we've got the main prize, that thing there. So, just want to give this man thanks. And this woman, all the respect in the world, what she come through. Knowing her from she was 13 years old, when she first come into the gym, to this, that there, nothing more. Um, Mr. Paul Frost, mm -hmm. as uh, the nutritionist, uh, and this man, I will go to him because this man can talk for England, but yeah. he probably now, we'd probably keep quiet, but I think he needs to say something because he's a man that doesn't like saying a lot. Am I lying? Yeah, that's uh, No, yeah, listen, I am. Um, Big, big win, big win for Sandy, big win for, for the team. Um, but yeah, it's just one of many, one of many. It'll be a small celebration, but you know, just bigger kind of uh, fish to fry, let's say, for Sandy. Um, so, you know, bit of a celebration. Um, and then, yeah, it's on, on to bigger stuff. But again, you know, me personally, uh, you know, I've kind of been in with this team 10 years. But, <coughs> yeah, I know I know people have opinions on Clifton. Uh, he's Marmite, let's just say. Um, but, you know, I've just got to say from my angle and anybody who crosses him, He's a true guy. Uh, he's a you know, very, very good guy. He Shout puts up, no mate, no, no, um, shouting. So yeah, he puts big work in behind the scenes. You know, for, for very little in return. You know, Clifton doesn't earn his money from boxing at all. And it's uh, yeah, I'm you know, proud of Clifton tonight. And uh, you know, the only thing I, I would have liked to have seen um, his mum would have been really proud of him. God rest her soul. If she was, if she was here, she'd be super, super proud of them tonight. So big shout, big shout to uh, to Gwen and uh, Cliff. So yeah, Paul, over to you, mate. Hello. Coog, how are we, mate? Um, I've known you two and a half years. Longer, do you think? A bit longer, yeah. A bit longer. Uh, yeah. yeah, about two and a half years. And uh, first signing, left matchroom, had a good career as a matchmaker. Um, but I remember seeing Sandy fight and I thought, I've got to try and sign her. And fair play to her because everyone wanted to manage her, to look after her. It's an incredibly competitive market, the management side. But she took a punt on me. And um, I'll be eternally grateful for that. Incredibly proud of her. Clifton, huge for Clifton, huge for the gym, huge for Derby, Derby's first world champion. But to echo what Paul said, look, this is the first of many. What, was, what did I say to you we're going to do? 
I'm going to get order boats at 140. Yeah. Order boats at 140. And 147. Yeah. So if she doesn't become undisputed this way and another weight class, I think, not that we failed, but that's that's the standard, that's the goal, that's kind of... Clifton and I, when we first started talking, you know, Katie Taylor could do it. No one's done it. Um, but I'm confident we've got someone here that will definitely do it. I decided to take a little bit of a walk away. You know, my mum passed away and Frosty knew that was the trigger for me. So I just had to go back and, you know, what's the word? Regroup, collect myself, get my, get my thoughts together and I'm good. Now we've got Des from the lab that's standing outside and uh, I've got to give him a massive shout out because he's, uh, he's the SNC coach for Sandy and uh, Sandy drives to Birmingham three times a week to go and do work with him. And for her to drive there, she, you know that this kid's good at what he does. All in all though, um we'll take this today. This is this is no disrespect, we'll enjoy it. But we need to get better and better and better and better because we're not here to just win one belt and think that we've um we've reached we've we've completed one game, understand? So there's another three of them to go and collect. And uh, Jennifer McCaskill, we're coming for you. Don't worry about that. We're going to do a job on her, a million percent. Uh, wherever they want it, Chicago, England, Derby. And now, now Eddie says do a job. I don't know how good the fight was really. I'm just interested in that she got the win. But I think it was quite exciting at parts. But I also think that Eddie needs to bring this, bring this to Derby. Um, I just think we've got the job done, don't we? We've got it done. We've got it done. And I don't, I don't, we're not going to say too much on camera about what happened behind scenes, but tough, tough, tough camp, understand? And you could see that, you could see yeah, it. I could, yeah, yeah, and last, because she doesn't usually get tired and she got a little bit tired today. But yeah. all in all, she, she uh, grinded it out and, you know, I forgot. We've got our Portugal people here, Rodrigo, you know, he's been a part of the team for a long, long time. Uh, big shout out to uh, Terry Johnson, sponsor. What's the, uh, what's his restaurant called? Parel Natural. Parel Natural. And we've got Weekend Offender, big sponsors, and Total Liar, massive sponsors. And they, they, a bun? Yeah, and Hui from the big gym. Um, big, big respect, Portugal. Um, what are you got to say, Sandy? I have a lot to say, <laughs> uh, but I don't know where to start. Um, yeah. I'm going to take the piss out of you with that thing on your head. <laughs> Why does it look funny? <laughs> it looks good. <laughs> it feels nicer because it's cold. <laughs> I feel like my head swell. <laughs> it's swell. It's <laughs> swell. But no. Um, so, how did you think? Come here. Let me start again. Right? Okay. Uh, Sandra. Uh, round one, when she came running at you, um, what were you thinking? I felt good the first few rounds. Yeah. And the game plan was working well. Busted up a nose and we thought, I thought we was going to get her out there. And then the second half of the fight, it, it just died what? a bit. You but, um, we know we why know, that we is. We know why. And um, we, there's no excuse there. We just we got the win and we just moved forward into bigger things. Um, but, um, was she as strong as you thought she was going to be? She was strong, but she wasn't all that. Like she brought the pressure. I, more, I brought the pressure more than what she brought the yeah. pressure. To be honest, I mean, she she brought the pressure for about the first thirty seconds every of each round, round, yeah. every round. Yeah, like a but Ferris. Then I knew what she was going to do. So yeah. every time I was stepping to my right. Yeah. Yeah. So every time I knew that's what she was going to do. Like, well, that's what she was doing coming out. So I was just every time just stepping to my right, keeping my hands up and. No, you wasn't keeping your hands up. That's all you get with silly shots. Um, but um, you know when David Diamante went and the new, what were you thinking? I knew we got it. We sure? Yeah. We sure? We celebrated before they even <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you know, you know in the fight, you're thinking, I'm winning this. What are you thinking in your head? I'm going to be all champ. Yeah, because you, you were saying it to me. Yeah. yeah. But then, but I was just... When I'm fighting, just in the zone, like... It's just yeah, bring us into the bottle. What's that? But, like, you're just in a fight, aren't you? So it's like... But you know what? Um, 
He was very, very calm. It was a, it was a very calm corner. Um, there was no... She, you got a bit scrappy, I must say. He was a bit scrappy. And you've boxed a lot better than that in your previous fights, but you toughed it out. You was never in any real trouble, but like I said, we know why he was a little bit tired. But all in all, I thought you did a, I thought you did the job and that's all that matters. And all, we, all that matters now, we've got this baby. Yeah? So all them girls out there that thought she wasn't a real deal will find out very shortly because we will be getting them. I know, I know everyone that's saying, I should have changed trainer, I should have done this and that. Look where we are now. Look where me and Cliff are now. World champions. Mm -hmm. And it's going to stay like that till we get all the belts. Because this, this, is, this is for you, Cliff. Oh. <laughs> no. Um, no. But you know what, Sandra? Yeah. Fuck them all. That's what I say. I didn't give a shit from any of them. Understand? So, fuck them all. Oh, it's Jessica, not Jennifer, by the way. <laughs> Jennifer what? I just leave him to it. Jennifer when he said Jennifer. <laughs> That's gonna be interesting. That press conference. Uh, do you care where it is? Great, isn't it? Is it? It's it gonna be great, isn't what's it? it? What's the name? <laughs> Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer McCaskill. Then Rick Bomoff. <laughs> Rick nah. Bomoff. <laughs> Pussy. Um, do you care where it is? No. Um, I'll fight. I'll fight anywhere. If um, I have to go to America, I really want to fight in America anyway. Um, I I want to, and what what a debut that will be to fight for all the belts in America. Can't, I can't wait. I've got some. I know a few fight a few people in America, fighters and trainers, and um, yeah, I'd love to fight in America. You, uh, I think you did the right thing this week by not talking about that after Eddie Hearn kind of put that out that that was going to be the next move for yourself. But you didn't want to obviously even think about that until the job was done tonight, but now the job is done. Yeah. Um, yeah. As soon as I see it, and um, I sent it, sent it to Paul when he was like, do not react to any of that. <laughs> uh, you got a job to do on Saturday, and um, so that's what I did. I feel like my face is swelled. Like no. it's really, is it not? No. It feels no. like it. I feel like it is. But um, yeah, just it's not synced. It's not synced in yet, and I'm just, you know what I mean. Sorry. We all know what you mean. Don't worry. <laughs> um, listen, I'm not going to take too much of time. Congratulations. Have you got anything else you'd like to add before we do finish, S Sandra? Sandra, you took that off cliff, right? Yeah. No, I think I've I've said a lot of. of um, my thank yous and um, what I'm grateful for and um, my team and my team, the team that are here when I'm winning, the team here when I've took that loss in this changing room right now and and that's what it's going to be all, all, all the way. We don't, we're not believing in no no hype or no egos or nothing. We know we know what we're capable of and um, I'm just going to keep um, improving now and. I'm going to be the 147 queen. Show me the belts. Show me all the belts. Sandy Ryan, congratulations. Listen, job done for you tonight, but we know there's uh, a lot bigger fish to fry after today. Yeah. So Thanks, we move. We, I said we, like yeah. I'm part of team. Ryan. Yeah, yeah but you, you're always in, in the changing room. Like, even... Even, you know, every fight you've been in the change room and, you, yeah. Because I follow Clifton about, to be yeah, fair. Yeah. yeah, you're both fucking nightmares, aren't you? That's a different story. Um, congratulations, listen, and we'll catch up with you again soon. Let me show you the belt one last time. Damn, that looks good. <laughs> that looks good on me. Damn, that is a nice belt. That's my colour as well. Do you know what? I brought these socks today, yeah? Can you see them? Yeah, go on. Got hair on it. And I didn't even think of the colour, but obviously pink is my colour. And then I was in the changing room, and I'm like, shit, the belt's this colour as well. <laughs> Everything has gone so nice, like, this week. Right, go on, go on, do your thing, and uh, we'll catch up with you again soon. <laughs> I want a sparkling water. I've had enough of stiff.
Thank you very much, Sandy Ryan. Refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never shot, shot up, Harry. And it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncers' guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day.